Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we'll be making a train game from pretty much from scratch. And today we're going to learn the basics of it, how to make a train, and just making the train general. So, I bought this thing called Vehicle C2, so you're going to want that. And then, you're going to want a little base. Depends how large your train's gonna be. So, it's gonna be five studs wide. That's how far the tracks gonna be apart from each other. So, that, it's gonna move that up there. Okay, so now you have your base, which you're gonna get rid of soon, but not now. So, don't do that yet. Next, you're gonna wanna get your wheels, which is the necessary thing in the train. How else, how else are you supposed to move? So, once you got your wheels, you can start doing the next thing. But first, I need to get my wheels on all the way. So, I'll get a quick time lapse of that. Okay, so I've gotten the wheels. So next thing I want to do is going to want to go to the vehicle seat two, and then open the wheel model, and then open the wheel part. Copy the attachment motor, and then select all of your wheels. Make sure they are not models yet. Right click on them and press paste into selected. Or just press whatever buttons you need to. Then you can delete the wheels that are on this. And then all you have to do next is what you have to do is you have to get rid of the body. This thing right here. You might want to. There, but also you're going to want to put the A handle to match the body. Okay, so now this is what you're going to have. So just make all these models. So I'll do quick another quick time lapse of that. Okay, so next you're going to want to put all the models in the vehicle seat too. So for the third time in a, another quick time lapse. Okay, so now you have this. It's your train pretty much. So let's test it. Let's see if it works. Doesn't that I know I just look at it wrong? Oh, it works. So, next thing you want to do is you're going to want to go here and go to the A handle and make it so that you can actually, it's not, um, uh, it doesn't have collision off and so it can collide. So then it makes it better so you can stand on it. That's the train, but we're not done yet. Next thing I want to do is get the rails. So, let's put it here for the rails. And size them down to the right size. Now you can do the size of the wheel. I'm I'm not going. Maybe actually, no. I put like 0.1 studs out for it. All right. So, copy and paste that. Okay, good. Now just anchor these. 
and then then now you have a train on some tracks so you can move it but here's the issue it's not always going to stay on so how do we fix that this is how i want to make gliders so full cylinder and then put or, yeah, also make it a model already so it makes it a lot easier use glider name glider of course and then copy and paste it to big size it down Okay, good. Next, you're going to want to just select these both. It's hard because it's really not always. But yes. Okay, so now you have selected the other gliders. And now all you got to do Okay. You have the gliders and make sure they're unanchored and then go to model and where it says create, click that and then do weld. Click the two, the glider and the A handle, which is this part base right there. And then close up the glider models. Okay. Now, if we test it once again, it should work. Hopefully, it does. Yeah, so now it's going to stay on the track. But it's going a bit too slow. See, it's only going at like 24. So here's how you change that go into the model and also name the model train. So go to the model, click vehicle seat. Scroll all the way down till you see max speed. And let's change it. So I'm gonna do like 50. So I have to change it. It's a lot faster. And if you really want to do some crazy stuff, make the rails extremely long. And make the train go like a million because you can do that i've done that before and it's crazy once yeah this is how it's going to work now you use when you press a and d you used to be able to drive off but now you can't well unless you hit that it's the end of the track so what about what what about the track like what if what are we going to do with it or well, well we're going to need to make it look better, of course, right? Yeah. So. We're going to have, I'm just going to have to resize these. Two, three, three, four. Because we're going to add ties onto the track. That's just going to mess with the gliders and stuff. Okay, so, train and track. So, I'm going to make the rails metal. Both of them. Wait. Well, it really depends. Do you want to make a studded game or not? I am going to make a studded game. So... Okay, and just select everything and make it stud. Okay, now you have studs. So now you don't have to do anything much. But you're going to want to like recolor them in a different way. The material and stuff. Because, well, it's a train track. 
if you don't color it, you're not really going to tell what part is it. Okay, so I'm just going to have a quick time lapse of this so it doesn't take too long. Okay, so we do that now. The only thing. Wait, I have to edit it some more. Because that looks way better. So, another time lapse again. Okay, so, you made the track, it took a while to make, but it's still a pretty simple track, so let's test it, hopefully it, it works. That, perfect, literally just missing them. So we have a train. And we have a trap. I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and see you later.